I'm Ross Mould, AG Bell's Investment Director, and welcome to Fundamentals, our regular look at the world of funds and collectives, where we highlight one of the most popular purchases on the AG Bell Invest Centre platform, and then analyse why advisors and clients might be buying right now. This week, at the very top of the list for actively run funds is Fundsmith Equity, a collective that regularly features among the collectives most actively purchased by advisors and clients via the Invest Centre platform. The man behind the firm, Terry Smith, well, he's well known from his days on the equity research desk at UBS's investment banking business in the 1980s, where his book, Accounting for Growth, upset more than a few chief executives. Following spells as the boss of Colin Stewart and then Tullet Threbon, Smith set up Fundsmith in 2010, and throughout, he stuck to the straight-talking approach he used back in his days at UBS. The fund's mandate is to generate long-term value growth for its investors, and it seeks to do it by investing in a very concentrated portfolio of global stocks. According to the latest fact sheet, the 3.2 billion fund holds just 26 positions, a marked contrast to many equity funds where 40, 60, 80 holdings is the norm with some going higher still. There are criteria used to make the picks are exacting, but have been proven over time not just by Smith & Co, but other investment luminaries like Ben Graham and Warren Buffett who look for companies that are economic castles surrounded by unbreachable moats, to quote Buffett. The fund looks for stocks that have several key characteristics. First, they operate in industries where there are lofty barriers to entry, as this helps provide pricing power. Second, the businesses are pretty scalable, so they don't need huge amounts of capital to keep growing. Third, they generate consistently high returns on capital employed. Fourth, they don't have a lot of debt or need it. And fifth, they come with an attractive valuation. The top five holdings are currently Microsoft, Imperial Brands, formerly known as Imperial Tobacco, US soft drinks group Dr. Pepper Snapple, Becton Dickinson, an American medical supplies concern, and Unilever. The focus is generally more on capital growth and income, as the yield on the fund is around one and a quarter percent at the moment. Now the next chart here shows the portfolio split by geography, and the second the mix by industry. Note the dominance here of consumer staples and healthcare and the, na the marked absence of miners and oils. Now, at the AJ Bell Investable in 2014, Smith flagged the importance of high returns on capital employed in particular, as he equated picking stocks that can demonstrate this with picking a horse after it already passed the post and won the race. This wasn't, by the way, a reference to gambling. That's the very antithesis of what Smith stands for. The characteristics he seeks offer a degree of comfort and certainty. I suspect that's why the fund is proving particularly popular with advisors and clients right now. Fundsmith's three-year beta is just 0.88. And that compares pretty well when global financial markets have been particularly volatile since the US Federal Reserve raised interest rates for the first time in a decade on 16th December. This chart here compares total returns from global stocks, bonds, the commodity Bloomberg Index and gold since that date in sterling terms. Now, the outperformance of gold and bonds smacks of a flight to safety, and these trends are even more pronounced if you go back to 29 October 2014, when the Fed tapered its monthly additions to QE to nil. Smith's policy of backing what he likes, keeping a concentrated portfolio, and then sitting tight, will understandably appeal to many advisors and clients in this uncertain environment. No one can time these markets, and frankly, it would be futile to try Smith is definitely one fund manager who won't bother either, so trading costs will be kept to a minimum. And on the subject of expenses, the annual ongoing charge figure is 0.97%. That sits in the middle of the range for the global large cap blend equity category where the fund can be found. But the five year annualised performance figure of 18.7% ranks Fundsmith Equity as the single best performer in this area over that time frame. Even if we all know the past is no guarantee for the future, that record will doubtless catch the eye of many, especially as the next best performer, Investex Global Franchise Fund, comes in over 500 basis points behind with a five year annualised return of 13.3%. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.